the uh, Washington Post with a an article this morning about the release of the Parkland, uh, Florida shooter videos. And, you know, the only thing worth mentioning in this, it's it's funny, not funny, ha-ha, funny, strange, and discouraging. You read this article, and uh, they state several times, or ask several times, depending on how you look at it. Um, his guilt has not been questioned. He's confessed. His attorneys readily admit he was a gunman. Uh, um, it's a, 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 a troubled young man, disturbing pattern and behavior. But what motivated him to open fire remains unanswered. Then they go on with the article about the videos in which he says specifically why he wanted to do this. So he'd become famous so people would know who he was to take out revenge on, his, on, on, on the world. And then the victims weigh in and say... I tortured myself watching this video. Don't do it. Here's how you... A great way to stop school shootings is never mention the shooter's name or give them notoriety. He discussed how the world will know who he is. He wanted this. And then another victim says he deserves no attention. Here's who does. And then lists the names of the victims, the the victims who were killed. And again, the article says, you know, some people have advocated limited news coverage of the shooter to prevent them... uh, you know, achieving the notoriety they desire. And yet the article still says, God. well, his motivation remains unanswered. How can that be? How thoroughly can you answer something? Do you, do you, okay. That, All right. That's like the joke we had earlier. Uh, if you don't know what introspection is, you need to take a long look at yourself. Right. That, that, it's like that joke. You're discussing with lots of people, including the victims, on how... And the shooter. And the shooter... <laughs> Wow. And he he answers it categorically. The fact that it's not the answer they want, I think, is the disconnect here, isn't it? Mm, boy, that's, a, that's an interesting Is idea. cable news going to come out with the headline? Breaking news. All these shooters want to be on cable news. Are, Are you ever going to see that headline? Our coverage is more likely the culprit than the existence of guns. Breaking news. Yeah, you're probably not going to see bullying. that. It's not bullying. It's this headline. Ugh. I just uh, I found that an, ex- an astonishing. But if they were lack that of insider, s- if they were that self aware, they wouldn't publish the story that points the finger at them, and then they're the only ones who's not connecting the dot. Yeah, yeah. Like right. if they were trying you to hide in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an important thing. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm past the enjoying the irony of it. Or, oh God, no, yeah. or criticizing them just. How do we get this to stop? Right. And right. again, I've, I've said this for a couple of presidents in a row now. I want the president of the United States to go on TV and say, look, I'm not trying to infringe on the se- the, the First Amendment, et cetera, et cetera. But the coverage in the media of these shootings is creating more of them. We All the mental health experts agree. Well, So and- here's what I think we should do. I would like to see, and Trump would never go for this, but uh, I'd like to see Trump side by side with Barack Obama delivering that message, yeah. going back and forth on the teleprompter. I would really like to see that. The videos, which I have not watched, but I've read uh, transcripts of, um, are incredibly instructive. I mean, it just makes the case. This uh, guy says, My name is blank. He says his name, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018 to. Malcolm Gladwell and other thinkers' uh, piece about um, uh, the contagion. It's gone from an unthinkable idea to an idea people think about. The crowd that had to see it done once to trigger them are obviously triggered, no pun intended. Uh, The crowd that needed to see it now done 10, 15 times. Now they're thinking, wow, that's a thing. It's a thing I could do. Wait a minute. I'm angry. I want to be famous. Wow. And he just, he spells it out. In the video. Yeah, and unfortunately, so much of the damage has already been done and can only be undone with time. But we could stop. Right. You know, we need the end point for glorifying these people so that we can get past this generation that grew up with it. Right. We need that transitional moment. Uh, Because there was a good article. We talked about this last week, but read the article in, I think, the New York Times over the weekend about Columbine being the ground zero for all this and almost every shooter in some way references or emulates the Columbine doofuses. Either dresses like them or mentions their names in their Facebook page or whatever. 
and uh, and th- this latest scumbag did also. And um, I know, but, but I know that, it's that one. That one really. That this was before. We, this is really before we knew what we were doing. But that one, they really went out of their way to glorify those two dudes and make yeah. them look like they were Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. I mean, slash victims. Remember, yeah. they were bullied. Right. They were oh, yeah. part of yeah. that outcast yeah. group, all of which was fictional. And even if it wasn't, sorry, that doesn't work. You don't get to shoot your classmates. Well, right. Exactly. That message is horrific. And, and it, that's never included. Right. <laughs> that, 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 how about yeah. that? Just start there. Uh, you know, when you're when you're doing a story, you're supposed to present both sides or, or all the sides that exist right. at all. If you're going to say... He complained about bullying. You got to throw into the story. Of course, bullying doesn't warrant killing people. Nor being jilted by a girl. Well, that's the worst example. Or whatever. Throwing that out there as if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Well, he got his heart broken in high school oh, because that, that never happens yeah. to anybody. Yeah, that makes him special. And, and his, his pain is so unique, he gets to murder people. Is the unspoken message delivered by the s- simpletons of the media every time this happens. And we've got to reach that transitional point. Where you just, as a people, we're all made aware of, oh, that's how it works. That's what these kids are thinking. It seems obvious to us now because we've been talking about it so much. But, you know, I, I'm sure there's still people for whom the light bulb hasn't gone off or gone on, I guess. Ding! Um, that that's what's happening here. This is, it, this is so chilling. This is a stupid teenage fad. That's what this is. It's a fad.